Hi guys and welcome to 123MyT's video where we look at transferring data from iPhone to Android in 2019. Okay guys, so we're going to transfer data and we're going to do this via wireless and we're also going to use iCloud to transfer our data from our iPhone across to our Android device. So this should work with any Android device. We're using a Samsung Galaxy device here today. However, the steps should be similar for other Android phones. You just need to find out what transfer app is used for your Android phone. First step here is just to make sure that you've got both phones on your Wi-Fi because we're going to use Wi-Fi to transfer the data. Then the next thing that we're going to do is to go into settings on your iPhone and scroll to the top and just sign in to uh, iCloud with your Apple ID. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Okay, so you've just signed into iCloud. The next thing to do is to go in and do a backup to iCloud. So back up all your data on your iPhone to your iCloud account. And if we scroll down, go into iCloud here, you can see here that it's got all these things already turned on and it's going to run a backup on all these things. So what we want to do is just take out anything that we don't need. So for example, I don't need calendars, reminders, I don't need news and just go ahead and just remove anything that you're not going to need to back up. So in this case, I'm just going to do backups on my contacts and I'll just uncheck everything else. The next thing we're going to do is just make sure that your iCloud backup is on. I'm just going to turn that off just for the sake of the video. And if it's off here, iCloud backup, we just want to turn it on and then sync. And then once you turn it on there, it will actually start going through and syncing all your data. You can just hit back up now. All right, you can see it's finished backing up there now. If we go back into iCloud, you should have your iCloud backup on again. Once you've done the backup there, you can go into Safari and just in the address bar up the top, just type in iCloud.com and you can actually go to the iCloud website and log in there with your um, iCloud username and password or your Apple ID and you will be able to then check what data you have actually backed up to iCloud before you transfer it across to your Android device. Okay, once you're happy with all the data that's been uploaded, we're now going to go across to our Android device and we're gonna use the app that allows you to transfer data uh, from I iCloud. So in this case on the Samsung, the app is called Smart Switch. You can try, you can actually download this from the Google Play Store, so it might actually work um, with uh, other models of Android device. We're going to receive data, we're going to use wireless, and we're going to select this iPhone iPad menu. Then you're going to go ahead and put in your Apple ID details again, use them password. And you can see there that just brought across our calendar and our contacts. Now remember we went ahead and we unticked things uh, from our iPhone. Just check on your iCloud account too because if you've done a previous backup you might still have some calendar items and things in there that's still on your iCloud that the Android device wants to download. You can see here there's a couple of images there. I don't want to download those at this stage. Just, I just want the contacts. But you can see here there's other apps too. So if you've got apps on your iPhone it'll bring apps across. It'll bring videos. Um, it'll bring documents and some other things as well if you, if you tick those uh, on your iPhone. So we're just going to go ahead and go import. And then you can see here it tells you, you know, the copied items that came across. Bring stuff from your iPhone or iPad so it gives you a, um, an option for USB cable. And then it also gives you a warning about turning off iMessage on your iCloud to start receiving text messages on this phone. So we're just going to hit done and that's it. So now we've copied across all our data from our iPhone across to our Android device. Okay guys, so that's it from me. If this was a helpful video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching guys. Bye bye.